Like we bought a G Pen Connect and like, yeah, dude, so much nice. easier. Yeah, and like, for a little bit, I was getting that like anxiety of smoking pre rolls, like hot boxing the car and then getting off and going to the store. Oh yeah. And now yeah, yeah. doing that kind of stuff is like, I get anxiety. Doing any sort of like smoking in the car or something like that. The just smell. Just hotboxing the car yeah. and like just having that smell because yeah. it's so different from people who like smell you when you're when you're high yeah and then there's people who like when you're dabbing they don't even know you're high they have no idea but it's like you know you're you're still in the same level it's just that the smell makes a difference for sure i think that's the biggest thing that causes the anxiety when you're like smoking oh, yeah. is the smell i don't think it's even being you walk into the store and people are literally like you're all oh my yeah. god what are you looking at like, don't look at me yeah don't look at me that right now so <laughs> Oh, man, but, but yeah. yeah, life of a stoner. Good way to start the episode. <laughs> That's so funny. But episode. It's just about weed and anxiety. You yeah, know? Like, bro, bro. But, like, that's not all the time, though. Like, so me, personally, I can't do sativas. Because no? I've noticed that I get a lot. Like, my anxiety is off the roof when I'm on a sativa. And then I feel like I'm... I'm on an, I've never been on an upper, but if that's what anything it feels like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I don't that. know. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I don't I'm even... I'm like, in a mile right now. Really? You feel like that? Like, super energy? Yeah. But then my crash is kind of like... Fuck, dude. Nah, I don't even think about it, really. I'll just, like, And then smoke Indicas, it. Like they make whatever. me all, like... Too sleepy, So huh? I like to be right in the middle. The a hybrid? hybrid? Hell Yeah. Nice so you really hybrid. feel the difference between like sativa yeah. indica like you can really feel i'll literally tell my boyfriend i'm like babe i'm like can, we need to go outside like i can't do edibles no more i can't do sativas i'll be like dude i need to go outside see edibles i don't feel edibles hell no dude uh, i feel like the room is getting closed up when i'm like on an edible i'm like oh you know those those um <clears throat> tiktoks <laughs> tiktoks of people talking about edibles and I how think... they take the edible and then they're just like a few minutes later, or whatever, and they're all like buzzing the grass. No, I dude, that, that one's kind of funny. Damn, you have to check no, that one out. No, I'm not even on TikTok like that. That shit's too. I'm not either. I try not to be. I try not to be on social media. Well, you have general. to be for what you do, obviously. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. only reason I'll go on like social media. And this is episode 78. I got Alyssa here. Huh? We're all very talking about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, guys. But yeah, I know. And social media, honestly, it's. I guess it's a necessary evil. Like, you have to have yeah. it. I don't really have If it. I want to expand in my brand, I have to have it. How do you feel like TikTok has helped your, like, does it... It doesn't. It doesn't do anything for no, you, really? You don't doesn't. have viewers off of that? I feel like you I mean, I do, but, pop. like, not a lot of people really do. Like, my boyfriend probably gets more content in his Pokemon cards than me in my art. He'll hit, like, 36.K views and, like, oh, 800. Shit. And I'm like, what in the... What am I doing? wrong what are yeah. people not liking that i'm doing but i don't know uh, I, I, I just still have TikTok. to figure it out myself too yeah. like obviously like what i do is good well i think but you know i don't know what people are weird maybe i'm not posting it at a certain time you know because the whole analytics or what is that called i don't even know how many videos have you posted on tiktok that was shit ton you're oh really yeah, yeah not like, a, okay not a lot that's exaggerating you have like a following at all on tiktok like any followers? I don't know. Let me check. This is. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't even know. Cause like I'm not on it like that at all. Yeah, and see, so, I don't even fuck with social media. Like so that. like followers, I have 139. Oh, okay. Which is, like it's a good amount yeah. for like a TikTok, right? And so yeah, these are like all my videos too. Oh damn, you got some videos too. I know. And the same name. On there too? Uh, there yes, the only difference is is that it's like underscore. So it's Luna Visuals underscore. Got you. Because my original account got banned when TikTok was against the whole weed thing. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was popping on that one. That's like, fucked My Medusa up. painting was like... Wait, oh, so you had an original one and they and you had to make another one? So that's yeah. probably what fucked it up. Was because probably I got not, banned. Yeah, it probably already fucked up your whole algorithm. I know. I was like, well, oh well. You know, you know, like people talk about that whole fifteen minutes of fame thing. Yeah, that's definitely where that was at. 
I was so proud of myself, too. <laughs> Honestly, That's I was so no, funny. no, no. I was proud of myself because like the work and the time that I that was my first paid commission painting I did for somebody. Oh shit! And that's a sick painting too. Yeah, that was my yeah. first one. That was the most stressfulest one. That was the one I really wanted to dump in the freaking trash and like, dude. What yeah. What's your average amount of time you put on a put into a painting? I know they're like all different sizes and shit. Of course. Clearly, so but... um, if it's like super detailed, I tend to put about fifty to sixty hours in a painting, and that's a long oh, time. Like yeah. my Tupac one, that one definitely hit sixty hours. The Tupac one's sick. And too. The, you have you. a Mac Miller one, or did yeah. you have two Mac Miller ones? So no, the Mac Miller one was actually a commission piece that I did for somebody. Yeah, that one. So was that sick was too. like my second commission piece. And then from there, it was like, it's kind of how it started. I sold my first painting in 2019. Really? 19. Was it 19? 18. I think it was like the end of 18. What What even got you into art? What even... Because you're like one of the only people I know or that I've even... I don't even know you very well, but that I've seen in this valley that has like kind of like picked a niche and like just gone into it and like a hundred percent like you're you haven't like i don't know what you did before but it just doesn't seem like you you didn't know you know like you're like uh like you just knew i like didn't autom- you didn't i didn't know what, so what i you? actually my first job was roy's right after high school okay roy's uh hawaiian fusion um so i started off as a hostess there and evolved into a food runner uh-huh. and then from there i put in like four years then I quit and I joined uh, June Hills, June Hills restaurant. It's at a uh, Miles and Monroe. No, Monroe and okay. Fifty something. So like okay. close to the Polo Ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like a little community there. Um, and then from there, I was actually working two jobs. So it was I've had the Palms Cafe restaurant. That was like my second job when I started at Roy's, and that was my second job when I started. You just kind of had it. Yeah. I just had it because that was where my money was at. Gosh, that's what <laughs> that was where my, as a server, I didn't know nothing as a server, but uh-huh. let me tell you, that was where the money was, and you know, and like, so I had to learn that menu. No matter how bad I did not want to be a server, I did not. I refused to be a server because I just did not. I wasn't ready for that. Uh-huh. I just wasn't ready to be a server. I wasn't ready to put myself in front of like the table and be like hey guys welcome to have the that good cafe. attitude yeah because like you know sometimes i'm oh. just we're always there and like you know it kind of sucked because there's some people who work pretty douches so early yep. in the morning I'm, yeah and i'm like really you're like cool mm-hmm. man like like wait trying woo! to get through work here way to start my day right yeah, exactly. and then um from there, I eventually quit both jobs, and then uh, I worked for Shelf Life Distribution, which is actually a cannabis distribution company, uh-huh. and so um, they were out in Costa Mesa, so I was constantly having to do um, the drive back and forth, but I was the uh, brand ambassador. There you go. How was that? It was cool. It yeah. was definitely something different out of my element. Um, I've never done that before, so obviously, you know, doing something different was like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, yeah, am I gonna exactly. do good in this or like? So far though, I, or during that whole experience, I was definitely kicking ass. That's for sure. Yeah, that was like that's got seems like a time when you can kind of like. Yeah. You finally expanded, you know, because yeah. you were in restaurants, and, restaurant, restaurant, and then yeah, because it was like the restaurant industry. I love the restaurant industry. I'll never, you know, that's that's what started me was the restaurant industry, but you know. Uh. Um, as I did shift directions. Were you doing art this whole time? No. Really? Yeah. So like, okay, a so little you... quick story about doing art. So when I was little, I used to sketch a lot. That was like my go-to. Okay. And then once I got into like middle school, high school is when I just like fell off the grid with art. I just, my goal wasn't art anymore because... For reasons, I, I, yeah, you know, but it yeah, was just yeah. like, it just wasn't my goal anymore. And I think so, we all kind of know that shit. Yeah. We all like, kind of change Everybody goes our, through it yeah, at exactly. some point in life. And so the more and more I actually got involved into the cannabis industry is when I noticed that like 
people actually love art. Mm -hmm. And so while I was working at Shelf Life, I actually was doing art at, on the side at my house. And then I was working with um, uh, Seven or Fug Fake. Mm -hmm. So that was like my second job because I was learning something new and that had to do a lot with like graphics and tees and things that so I actually... getting you into art? Yeah, that what's what got me into more and more art, you know, because like... I love fashion. Um, I'm all about like wardrobe and shit. <clears throat> rocking Excuse the fucking me. Supreme backpack or fanny or whatever that's called. What, I don't even know what that is. Shout out your high plug right here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out your high plug right oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, yeah, dude. I just I've always had a thing for art, and I've always had a thing for the fashion industry, and like. I feel like nowadays, that's exactly the direction I'm going. Mm -hmm. I can no longer... I can actually comfortably, with confidence, tell you that I do not want to work for anybody anymore. Like, That's I'm such a so... great thing to hear. From <sighs> it so, is. People need to realize that... Uh, it really is. This It's a trick, you know? Like, whole working for somebody and trying to get your, like... Your retirement or whatever, it's a trick, yeah. dude. They're <laughs> tricking you. That's all they're doing because you're just going to waste your life. Like, you're going to be doing something you hate I for was 30 doing years stuff or whatever. That wasn't making me happy, but it was making, like, my parents happy. Exactly. And so I had a. How do you. How did you handle. Because you. I feel like I've had to go through the same thing, which I feel like every person that's younger that is kind of. I feel like doing everybody goes thing. through it. Yeah, how did you handle, I guess, like lack of a better word, disappointing your parents, like doing your, going your own way and like kind of, or not disappointing, but you know, like I throwing them you. off, you I get what I'm you. saying? Um, <clears throat> so when I was in college, uh, I actually went to school for kinesiology. Like my goal was to do physical therapy. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. And that's what was going to make me money, right? Yes, because yeah. you need your degree. You need to have that license of like a physical therapist, yada, yada, yada. The typical plan um, you're going to do. Well, I didn't tell my parents that I had switched my major, like, ha mid-semester. And so, when I had gotten asked by my dad, he was like, oh, so how are your classes? And I was like, oh, my classes are great, you know? Like, they're cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's stuff that I love, right? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing, doing great. Yeah. Like, I love school right now. <laughs> and then, um, I forgot what happened. Oh, for insurance purposes, I needed to provide, you know, my my grades so that, mm -hmm. you know, the whole... Yeah, the car insurance or whatever. Yeah, you get your car insurance. They say that they, they see that you have good grades. You know, they see that you're very reliable, blah, 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 blah whatever. So he saw my schedule and he was like, what? Same. These are all our classes. And yeah. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I didn't tell you. I was like, well, yeah, I'm doing art now. Like, that's, oh, my, that's like the direction I wanted to be in. And yeah, that was not. How did they, how they react? Not They weren't cool for a little bit? My mom was for it. My dad just wasn't because like it wasn't something that. How's he feel be. now? I think now I can definitely say he's proud. Yeah, for because, sure. Because, you know, it's not easy. It's not being, it's not easy at all to like literally just throw your artwork out there because you have so many people in this world who are just incredible artists and like you know i'm just one of many but um, you are one of many but you have a very unique style did you do you have any artists you got that from or is that just you learning on your own and you just figuring it out because that is just me so figuring out on my own like style is your i, own, I definitely sure. follow a lot of art content so a lot of my pages like a lot of my instagram my social media all of that's going to be you'll see nothing but art content because mm, i just love yeah. it right and so i i get inspiration from a lot of other artists because i find just little things that attract my attention on their paintings and so I kind of tend to try it out and see how it works on mine. And so far, it's been pretty on point. It's been pretty, pretty well, <laughs> it's yeah. It's pretty on point. But, um, you know, again, I'm not... I'm just doing the best I can and, and yeah. what suits me because, you know, there's I'm, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of things for myself and, like, how I want my stuff to look, how I want to approach things, how I want to, like come out as like a fashion designer you know i don't want to just be an artist i want people to know like you can do more than one thing not just 
And so expanding on that, what is your goal? What do you have like a a bigger goal? Because I I saw you have. Well, isn't that that looks like your own? Is that your own beanie right there? This is. Oh This shit. is an unreleased beanie. Oh, hey. <laughs> it has my logo in the back. Oh really? Yeah. Legit. So are so, you starting to try to do that? Like get yeah, into the fashion industry definitely. as well? Definitely. Yeah. I I really really want to pursue those dreams and being a fashion designer. Damn. That's like, legit. Being an artist, I love being an artist. That's that's what I love doing. Yeah. Right? That's like my hobby. But like designing clothes and like getting comfortable with like using a sewing machine, getting comfortable with like slapping my brand, my logo, stuff like that on there. Like that's that's Shit, my Shit, you've right done now. that a lot already, huh? I've seen you do a few so, patches and stuff like that. Yeah, I've done patches. Um so like when I first was starting, I was just trying I was just testing the waters. I just wanted to see what was working, what was not going to be working. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know. Again, I was just jumping into things just cuz like if I don't just throwing shit at the wall seeing yeah, what, what sticks. If I don't, like it's not going to get anywhere. Yeah. And so if I can have all these ideas, but if I don't actually move forward with those ideas and actually like create a beanie or create a t-shirt or create some sweatpants or like do something like that like i'm not gonna get and anywhere where i want to go i feel like that's where 90 percent 90 percent of people fail you know it's because they don't even try they just have all these well, not plans they just try i okay so you know what i'm saying they have all these plans they just don't even do it it's like yeah. i have this idea so and which is okay because you know like i've been there before yeah, yeah i'd be lying if gotta, i said i've never been there because oh. i used to have sketchbooks like full of ideas and so i never moved forward with it i was just like oh that's just an idea you know mm-hmm. that's just a dream that was the key that was just a dream yeah, yeah and so like the more and more i got involved into it it was like wow it's kind of a natural at this and like it is a lot of hard work especially during the pandemic right now I can't just go to LA and touch fabric like I used to. I have to go. I have to either wait in line. They have to come and bring the stuff to you. And it's like, it's just not the same. See, this so is shit been, I'd have no idea. That's crazy. So yeah. you, you would do that? You would go to LA? You'd go oh, yeah. check out different... I'd go to LA. I'd check out fabric. Because I'm all about good quality. Yeah. And like, just like if it were just anybody, like I love good quality stuff because if something's cheap, like, and I only get to wear it once, like that kind of sucks, you know? And like, I don't want my clients or like, I don't even know what to call them. Like yeah. people who support me, you customers? know, like customers. And so I don't want to give them anything that's just going to tear within three, four washes. Yeah, that makes I sense. I want to make sure sense. they know like the price that they're paying is because that's good quality stuff and like just as much as i had to pay the money for it you know like i have to remember to basically just make sure i i can get that money back into like that savings you know because a lot of it is coming out of my savings and i need to make sure i replace that i make sure i have to put that back because Anything can happen. Your product's got to be worth it. You got to yeah, be returning customers. Yeah, my products definitely have to be have worth to, it. Yeah, and yeah. I don't, I don't ever want to just throw out just a t-shirt that's you know twenty bucks, but you're only gonna wear it once because it's already ripped. Yeah, and exactly. So and that'll like just that'll brand. just that'll just kill the whole your whole plan. You know, your whole brand, yeah. your whole design, your fashion. Yeah, design, because your plans. then not only do I have to like go back and take that trip to LA and like make sure my quality is good. You know, I have to expand, and sometimes I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to try something new because I like this. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But I have to. It's it's. That's the only like, way to do it, though, right? You have to yeah. live outside your your comfort mm-hmm. zone. This is out of my comfort zone for sure. Yeah. So You're doing pretty well so far, I think. You were just talking right off the jump. <laughs> Maybe it was a dab. Yeah, it was you, a dab. It was, it like, was a dab. Dab. <laughs> You're going to lose half the listeners because we started with weed, but it's okay. We'll just, I know. I yeah, know. it's cool. Whatever. If you're not if you're not Fuck part it. of the nah, 420 bro. community, it's I smoke cool. in the podcast, so it's all good. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. But how, how do you have the patience to spend 50 hours on an art piece? 60 hours. What do you do to keep your patience? Because that seems so A wild. Lot. I don't know how you I do that. I have to. 
create a playlist, music playlist, okay. to make sure it's going to keep me focused. And then, you know, I'll get tired of listening to music, so I'll throw on a, I'll slap on a movie. Or once I'm done with the movie, then I'll kind of just watch episodes of just like... Um, right now, I'm re-watching Breaking Bad. So that one, that's kind of been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having that as a background noise has been like, oh, you know. It's kind of like, interesting. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I get like focused <clears throat> and stuff, but it's hard. Yeah. I have to take breaks because if I don't, I, I get too overwhelmed. And then I notice that either my shading isn't coming out good. So if I stress on a painting, I can tell because of my shading. I can You can tell. just see it. Yep. You can just see it. I can tell, like, okay, I'm stressing out. This isn't coming out the way I want it to. And so... You're just not feeling the painting, yeah, right? Yeah, like, so I, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Like, yeah. at the beginning, I'll be feeling it, you know, and I'll be doing my thing. But then, after a while, I'll find myself just making minor mistakes that I don't have to be doing. You have to be... You, you almost have to be, like, in a zone. Like, yeah. where you're just, like, just yeah. focused and, like, you're just... I have to be every... in a straight up zone, no one bothering me, my phone not going off, like do not do stir- disturb, like that is all really? off, that is... That might be good for you then actually, because that's almost like, I don't know, art or painting all the time, or it might get boring obviously, but like it keeps you off social media, it keeps you kind of, I don't know, like a little more grounded, because you're not sitting yeah. there on your phone all the time or whatever, like you got some breaks, like every, I'm sure every day you're probably painting, you're pretty close to every day, you're um, probably doing some sort of art. <laughs> So, no, 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 I have, okay. it's just that I've been expanding in different ways. So yeah. like if I'm not painting for a commission piece, I'm trying my best to get a mural up on the wall or like I'm trying my best to do designs on my iPad so that I can create stickers. Or I can well, that's all posters. art. That's all. Yeah, that's art. all yeah. art, but it's all different concepts of art. how do you feel like your mural went at westfield walls i think that was pretty tight yeah yeah that, that was super sick. tight it was stressful don't get me wrong so the mural i did with the collaboration i did with shay um with, who is another amazing artist let me tell you and so she also does tattoos guys oh shit really <laughs> yeah Legit. she did my tattoo dude she did my luna visuals tattoo like you see oh that? damn mm-hmm. God, you even got your logo tattooed. Yeah, dude. That's You're in. Yeah. That's it. I'm right all there. in. I'm in the process of getting everything legitimately legitimately like, mine. So nobody can fuck with no, your shit at because all. Because if anybody takes it, guess what? You either have You're to give me sued, the credit. Not I don't, Sue them, dude. I don't wanna sue them. I don't wanna have to <laughs> sue anybody. Just cause That's like, too much money either way. Not just that, but I just don't wanna be that person, you know? But if I can if somebody but. can like respect the fact like hey okay this is some this is already somebody's work so let me give them the credit that's different i'm not trying to be i get what you're saying well if you have my logo you know i'm gonna sue you and it's like nah dude i want everybody to enjoy the you know it's crazy there was this this people on you ever watch shark tank the show shark Um, tank have you ever heard of it i've heard of it but i've never it's like entrepreneurs and stuff they're like Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Businesses like Mark Cuban. I may longer. have like heard it like in the background noise type thing. Got you. Okay, well, there's there was a guy on there and they had a business and they had made these like brushes, I guess these like unique brushes for for black people, I guess, or just for their hair. Oh, and okay. uh, I guess there was all kinds of copycats and the 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 owner of the original company because he got like patents and all that would drive around to, like, every store that had the copycats, buy all their brushes, and then sue them. Like, it was crazy. I was like... Yeah, see, and there are people like that. I was like, that's so... Like, you're... There's like, how do you do like that, that, you know? That's so extra. That is. Like, for, like, no reason. Just focus on your sales, maybe. And then just... If you just focus on your brand, like... So... I guess this, there was another trend on TikTok that was going on, and it was like, you know... It's not like uh, something about like Rihanna creating Fenty when there was already like all these other brands, you know, it's just like you have to work on just being new, unique and you. Yeah, exactly. Because if you focus too much on what other people are doing, like. You're just going to, you're, you're, 
you're in your own race, you know? Like, yeah. you're just racing, like, you're just trying to better yourself, I feel yourself, like we you know? are our own battles. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, it, it's not easy. It's not easy being an artist because there's, again, there's so many amazing artists out here in this world. And, like, you know, you're just one of them. Sure, but, even like, if you looked at the best ones in the valley, you're like, fuck, how do I get there? You know? No, yeah, of course. Because, like, but they've also put in the work exactly. to getting where they're at now. Years, you know? years, and everybody years. Everybody has to go through that, yep. unfortunately. You can't just, like overnight become a freaking well that's the problem with our generation star. though you know we I feel think like, we get it overnight yes, you know? and that's the thing with influencers influencers have a big part on that because yeah. it's like they tell you oh yeah it's super easy like overnight i turned into this and it's like but you didn't post something yeah and a lot of those influencers what are you driving yeah. Because most of them are not, they're not even, they're not really making money. You know what I'm saying? Which like is fine though. Because like me personally, I'd rather have a badass house than having a but, badass but car. But what I'm saying is they don't got shit. They don't got a house or a car. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're yeah. over there make, showing off all these, the, the shit, like all the, these brands and all that. Like they're, they're getting all this money and they got all these younger people. That's what they're trying to do with their life is be like an yeah. influencer. You know what I'm saying? And they're not even building, they're not an artist. They're not building yeah. anything. They're literally like, I'm gonna get IG famous and like. Yeah, and I think that's where something. everybody's kind of their mindsets at right now is like me being famous. That's what everybody yeah. wants right now, and it's like, you can't just be famous overnight. You gotta it still. Work that way. You gotta be well rounded. You know. You like, gotta have a plan. Yeah. Because if your plan does not work, guess what? You're either gonna make it or you're gonna break it, and like. How many people get famous too, you know? Like, not very, very many. Few. Yeah, and if that's your focus is, like, money and fame, yeah, you're going to be disappointed a lot, I feel like, unless you... I feel, I feel like know? having that that title of, like, being rich, I think that would probably ruin my life because then people would probably, like, I don't know, people would probably be like, hey, well, you're rich. Like, I think people would throw that in my face a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, well, you're rich, and it's like, no, I'm not. Like... Yeah. I just put in a 60-hour shift right now on a painting. Exactly. And yes, if I get money for it, like, that's because I've worked hard for it. I know. I'm not just chilling and getting I'm paid. I'm not chilling, and I'm not just, like... Well, that's the problem is people see the uh, the finished product. They yeah. see just your art piece at the end. They're like, yeah. oh, cool. And then she's selling it for, like, whatever, you know, a couple hundred bucks or whatever. Like, damn, she's making good money or whatever. And then people even... You know, bigger than you, they're selling it for like thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, like I, the what I'm pricing it as. at Oh, you is got reasonable prices compared to what like other people who are pricing their art pieces. And still, even them, it's like they're still putting in hours and hours and hours yeah. of work that 99 percent of us would never do. Like I wouldn't mm. sit there and do 60 hours on an art piece. I try to, I try to draw, and I get bored after like 20 minutes. You know, I'm like, yeah, I feel you. Fuck five minutes. You know, I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm over it. You know, that's I'm how straight. my boyfriend is. He's very impatient. Yeah, yeah. But it's like a lot of that can be. I don't want to say trained because I'm not training nobody. You're like you. So like me, I was very impatient. Um, at some point in life, I used to be very impatient. I couldn't just wait. I'd be like, no, I don't want to wait. I want to mm. go. I want to go right now. Like. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't want to wait for you. Why, why are we waiting? <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I don't have time for this. Let's go. Yeah. But now I can actually... I think it's so weird. I Just think ever you, started... Every, I think ever since I started smoking weed is when everything just kind of started slowing down for me. When did you start smoking weed? Three years ago. Oh, see, that's... That's probably why it's a benefit for you. I think because you didn't start too early. You didn't yeah. start when you were like a kid. I started smoking weed when I was in middle school. Oh wow! And so like, I look at it more from in my point of view. Like, and I still smoke weed. I I don't look at it as much of a benefit. I think it's more of a you're... detriment to me, and I think I fucking fucked up a lot of shit because I smoke too much weed. But uh, I don't know. I just but you I think you it's learn though, right? yeah. It's you. It's so... it's and it's for you. You know, like if it's if it makes. If it works best for what you're doing, then clearly, fucking do it, you know? And, like, yeah. I still smoke to this day, so I'm obviously not one to say it's bad for you. I'd be a hypocrite, you know? So Yeah, and I, I know a lot of people like that. Yeah, so I, I just say, like, uh, you actually, just gotta... Actually, so, if I can be very honest, if I could be 100, right? If I can be 100... 100 podcasts? I used to be very against weed. 
because that's what we're taught. We're yeah. taught to like say no to drugs. We're taught to like if you smoke weed, you're bad. You're you're a bad person. You're terrible because you mm. do drugs. But then um, when I actually did it for the first time with my roommate, that was the day I felt like my life just slowed down because it was just constantly racing. I yeah, was you, always in a race, always in. You my finally head. realized it wasn't that serious. Yeah, life wasn't all. Life that really crazy. isn't that serious, and for me to be stressing out for things that I don't really need to be stressing out about, why am I even? Yeah. And see, that's why I like, I like weed too, and I, I feel like a lot of people that are completely straight edge that are against drugs should really try it, you know, because it's like, it ain't what you guys think it is, it's not like people mm. are just getting all fucked up and they can't fucking yeah. think or whatever, like me, personally, like I even, I'm even a fan of shrooms, like I think shrooms are actually I haven't like, done shrooms. See, and I think shrooms, like, especially for those. an artist like you... I think that would be mind blowing for you. Like Damn, I think you would like. Everybody tells me that, but yeah. I'm like so scared to do that. It's I just know. I don't don't take it like you're getting high. Already. You know, like you're not taking them to get high. Like you're taking them to like see a different like because the world's different when you're on shrooms. You know, like everybody like, says shit. that, like, and I'm like, damn, what are you guys talking about? And then yeah. you know, people are like, well, let's do it, and I'm like, mm, and because no, it's not, and it's not I'm like ready. you won't even see shit pop up. Like it's not even shit like that. Just. The world looks more alive. Like, even, like, flowers look more alive. The trees okay, look more yeah. alive. You look up to the stars. Maybe, like, instead of the stars just sitting there, like, they're all moving. Like, it's just, like, the world feels way different. You know? It's you sick. definitely had a good trip, huh? Yeah, I've had a couple good trips, you yeah. know? Yeah. Even on my bad trips. Like, I've had a, I've had a bad trip or two where, like, I don't know, like, I'm just thinking about life and, like, the shit I've done wrong or whatever. And, like, it's still good, though, because it just gives you just another i don't know just like it adds more knowledge to you some more wisdom you know like and then on top of that if you're let's say like you're not very religious or whatever like if you take some shrooms that that'll make you rethink if you're religious or not you know i don't really think like would that make you think i don't know i just don't think in i don't believe in christianity or like buddhism or anything like that i think i think there's a god or something i don't think no religion man-made is like the one and all, like, you know, I just think there's somebody there, clearly. Somebody had to make us, you know, but uh, I don't think any religion is, like, the right one. I think it's more off of how you are as a person. Yeah. If you're just a good person, you're And good. that's, like, okay. That's, oh, it's okay to know, like, everybody's gonna have their own beliefs and own opinions. Yeah. You know, and it's, like, you can't judge somebody just because, oh, they don't believe in something, you know, that you believe in. And that's in. the hardest thing for me to even, that's why I can't, I don't really agree with religions is because of that shit, is because it's so, like, a lot of them, they, they put, like, you have to be a certain way, and I just, I don't really think that's the way it is, you know? I think a lot of people are different, you know? Like, if you're born in a different, a different continent... Yeah. Like, I would expect you to be different from me, you know? I wouldn't think you're gonna, you gotta, like you said, you get taught all this shit. Like, these people that are, like, Muslim from Iraq or whatever, like, they're getting taught all kinds of shit, too. Like, they don't know they're the bad guy. Like, yeah. and are they the bad guy? Or are we the bad guy? Or is nobody the bad guy? Is everybody just human? Just Everybody's just human, but you know what I'm saying? Every, there's always somebody just trying to divide that. Yeah, exactly. Trying to bring in that hate into this world, and, like, unfortunately... I feel like we are, we could change that. Yeah. We could change that because of the people that we bring into the house and the people that, you know, we vote for. But, like, at the end of the day, again, everybody's going to have their own beliefs. Everybody's going to have their own opinions. And so, like, I think that's yeah. where, in at some point in life, I had to just be like, you know what? I don't care about any of that stuff anymore because the more I start caring about all that stuff, I'm not taking care of me. Yeah. And so doing that actually led me into investing into a therapist. Really? Yeah. And you feel like that's helped you? Do you oh, you hell yeah. I plan too? on keeping her for like the rest of my life. Like she'll throw little hints here and there. She'll be like, okay, you know, like. We're going to evolve into a month now because at first it started off as two weeks. Mm -hmm. So every two weeks we were meeting up and then um, it ended up going to three weeks. And then now it's like at, at a whole month of like the next time I'm going to talk to her. Mm. 
But she's definitely helped me a lot throughout the process mm. because, again, it has it has a lot to do with everybody having their own opinion. And so, like, me personally, I'm not... I'm not for that whole racism stuff. Like, if you're going to be racist, you can out the door. Like, that, you do not bring that into my environment. I just, I think most people are are the same, you know? And and that's, and that's what sucks is because, like, we've, this world has turned into that. And, like, that's that's all that that people talk about nowadays. And it's like, ugh, like, how do you people sit there and watch the news when they're constantly just criticizing about every ethnicity and it's like i can't do that i just can't do that i don't do it either that shit that drives me crazy because like it's overwhelming i've I've had this conversation with multiple people on my podcast it's like dude like i was friends with every race you know like i grew up and there was never i grew up to love everybody and then now we all hate each other yeah and it kind of sucks because it's like i don't hate anybody like yeah to hate somebody that just really Shows what kind of person you are. And and really, it's not even... We all hate each other. It's just what they portray on the news or social media. Yeah. It's like that little amount of people that are on the left or the right, the way left or the way right, mm-hmm. are the ones that are fucking posting all that shit. And it just makes it super... I don't know. It's, just, it's hard for you to not pick a side when you see it every single day yeah. on the news, you know? And that's what you said. Just why even look at it at this point? Like, I just... I don't have a lot of family members who just spend hours, like, yeah, for three, four hours just watching it. And it's like, I cannot do that. See, because it's just all you hear is nothing but negativity, you hear no positive in anything that you hear on the news. That's what I said on my Instagram, like, on, on my Instagram, multiple times on my story, like, I don't give a fuck. If Daddy Biden or Daddy Trump wins, like, why do you guys care? Like, your life matters because of you. Like, you got to make your life matter, not Biden or Trump or whoever else we hire, bro. Like, it's like, the presidents don't even matter. Like, you guys are so, like, I hate this person because they voted for this person or whatever. Like, bro, like, what happened to, we don't even talk about it. Yeah. What happened to you just vote for who you vote for? Yeah, if you just keep it to yourself and, like, you know, you have your your opinion, I have my opinion, guess what? There are so many other things we can discuss because not (laughs) everything is about politics. There's, like, like, millions of topics we can pick from. There's so many topics we could talk about. Like, you like sneakers. I love sneakers. Let's let's talk about some Nikes, Let's talk some sneakers. Let's not fight about... Yeah, like, why are we about to fight because of something that you and I may not be on the same page of? Like, for what? That's just too much energy on my level. That's ruining my high. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. That's ruining my high. Now I I have to go smoke another joint because you just, like, ruined my high. (laughs) Exactly. And I don't even fucking... I don't even research politics like that. I don't. And then how many people on Instagram talking about it have no idea what they're talking about? It's like, bro... For a while, that was a trend. Do you remember that? Yeah. Voting was a trend. That's what I'm saying. That was sick. I was so... That was sick. I was almost happy that it just... It's, like, I'm happy now that it kind of seems like it slowed down just because yeah. it, it, the, the election got over and everything. But, yeah, it was driving me crazy. I was, was like... It was driving me so crazy. Okay. Like, can we move on to, like, something else? And that is else? exactly why like, I had to get into therapy because yeah. I was just overwhelming myself with a lot, a lot of negativity that had nothing to do with what I wanted to do in life. But I was putting so much attention into that because it was around me. It was in my environment. And, like, at some point when it's, like, I removed myself from it, I was, like, okay, we're back. Like, we need to focus on the grind again. We need to focus on getting everything legit. We need to focus on bettering myself. I needed to focus on, you know, meditating more and, like, just learning to just say namaste and, like, not let people get to me and... Shout out to my therapist. Cause... That's how, how, shout out to the therapist, but that's how mm-hmm. crazy it is, is, is when you stay, when you stay calm in certain situations, just how much, how much better you handle them, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like even like your answers, like, like yeah. if somebody like pisses you off, but you just stay calm and like you, you just have like, you're just, you're quicker, like you're quicker with your answers yeah. to them. Like you say the right thing. You don't sit there and just say something because you're mad, you know? Like Yeah. Just... And like a lot of us tend to let anger speak for us. Yeah. We don't actually just sit back, take a breath real quick, and just kind of... All right. (laughs) All right. So, back to this topic, because I'm now calm, and I've gathered myself. What were you talking about? Because I completely just... 
It just went out the door. I don't even remember what we were talking about anymore. I don't even know why we were arguing. I don't even know why you let me get to where I was at. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Yeah, I feel like... uh, Silence really kills people. People hate the silent treatment. Yep. And, you know, that's one thing my therapist was definitely telling me. She was always like... We don't always... Okay, so a lot of us tend to always want the last word. Unfortunately, that doesn't work because then if I want the last word, then you're going to go and say the last word. Then I'm going to go back and like, it's kind of like a, uh, how do I say this? Like a chain. So it's It's just just never going to end. Yeah. It's never going to end. It's just going to keep going in rotation. And so if you just kind of like end the conversation with silence and kind of just walk away from the situation, it won't. It this, won't continue. That's it. It ends. <laughs> it ends yeah. right there. And like, you want to go have that conversation with someone else? Be my guest, but don't, don't waste my time. Don't try to make me upset because of, just because you want to be pissing people off. Yeah, exactly. Like, and and either way, it's like you don't know what they have going on in their life. They might have the worst shit going exactly. on, and they just had a bad day, and they just went off on you, and it's like. Okay, you know, I'm not going to ruin my day over yeah, your fucking I'm not going to let day. you ruin my day because you yeah. just had a bad day. But I had a great day and I'm going to keep up that, you know, yeah. that rhythm in me and like have I am my own day. hype. That's it. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> I am my own hype. I am. Yeah. I am. Because at the end of the day, I am my own. I battle myself a lot. But at the end of the day, if I don't like it, it's not going to get published. But. If I like it, I hype myself so much about it. Like, somebody could really tell me, like, oh, dude, that is super sick. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you. Because I think that shit looks great as hell, too. You know? And, like, just having (laughs) that, like, motivation of being like, dude, I am my own hype. Like, if I hype myself up, things are going to be 100% on how I want to go. But if I, like, doubt myself a lot... It just doesn't go the way yeah. I envision it. Yeah, you got to... Well, greatness doesn't happen, like, usually when everybody, like, it, like thinks you're going to do it, you know? Like, it's mm-hmm. usually when everybody's like, I don't think that's going to work. And then you just keep with your plan and you mm-hmm. keep your mission. And then it usually works out because it's like, yeah. you just stuck to the plan. Instead of, like, going off and and, like, you know, just not... Like you said, like not trusting yourself or not having mm-hmm. like the confidence to yeah. keep riding. If it. I don't trust myself in my work, I I put myself down later. Yeah. So I could be like, Oh, the sticker's cool, right? And then I look at it again, I'm like, I could have added something to that or oh, I could have made some changes to this or oh, what could I have done better? But that also could be a lot of me just overwhelming myself and like doubting myself even though i shouldn't because it actually is something sick you know but just overthinking yeah yeah that's what happens when you you well it's your own art it's your own business it's your own it's all yours you know yeah you're running it somebody once told me one time they're like being in being an artist whether you're in the music industry whether you are an artist like doing art um with like murals paintings whatever or if you're doing you know, whatever it is, custom stuff, like, if we, damn, where was I going with this? I don't know. I don't I'm listening to you. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what they okay. told you. They... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that was good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's coming down now. Yeah, I, think that's, yeah. I think that's what it is. It's coming um, down, so I'm all like, uh. <laughs> uh but, um, I need to hit it again. I need yeah. to get back into my... Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Nah, it, it, not like that. Um, but... Yeah, I guess we'll we'll talk about that we'll later that when, it, back when it comes back. <laughs> yeah, well, hi, I brought that up. Oh my gosh. So what's your what's your 2021 goal? You have a goal for 2021? I do. Or do you, do you have a, like a list of goals? Like do you do you write out your goals or anything like that? So I'm really trying my best to write down a lot of my goals. Um, that's a little harder on me just because. Sometimes I don't even know what to write down. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, well, what goals do I have? Or like, what is it that I want to accomplish within the next month or two, you know? And so, you know, and then there's times where like I've set goals for myself and like a lot of them didn't happen because, you know, 
either I didn't get that position or I just didn't, I wasn't one of the artists that was chosen. So, you know, so like that eventually ends up getting crossed off my list. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Let's start a new goal. What are we going to do for this, this year? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to answer your question, my goal for this for 2021 crazy i don't say 2020 <laughs> but i'm still in 2020 it feels like reason. 2020 yeah. like we didn't do shit yeah i kind of skipped 2020 and somehow ended in 2021 but mm. um i think my goal sorry i don't think my goal for 2021 uh-huh. is to be a legit business owner for its luna visuals and to finally get my investment into a house some space got you because where i'm at right now is a little tiny so i can't really do so much but if i invest into my space you feel like that'll just a a big one a big i'll be able to really focus and like have my office where everything's organized and like (sighs) that's my goal yeah it's to just get more organized is to have Luna... <laughs> just Dude, get more organized? Get more organized, for sure. Because, honestly, uh, me, if I'm not organized, I feel like I'm going to have a bad day. Yeah, it's a little stressful, huh? Yeah, because I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, my room's a mess. What the hell? Yeah. Like, I should have put that stuff away. If it's as easy for me to take it off the hanger, it should be just as easy for me to put it back on the hanger. But sometimes that is just not the it's case. It's not that easy. It's easy yeah. to just... Throw it and I'm call the it a day. I'm worst at that shit. Leave my shoes everywhere. I, like, finish a water bottle. Just kind of, like, toss it on the floor. Don't be know? littering. Don't and be one of those. Not in my house. I'm talking oh, about my house. Yeah. You know? not, not, like, outside. Let me find out you're over here littering. I'll hey. be like, hey. I'm, this, is hundred, take- this is the 100 podcast. Keep it 100. I do not litter. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, you heard it I'm first, I'm a guys. good citizen, okay? okay the cool. fuck do I litter? Honestly, dude. I go to San Diego and I look at how clean the streets are. Then you come over here and trash. the freeways are just trashed. And it's like. What's up with this valley? Do you feel like this? What's up with this valley? I don't know. Do you want to get out of this valley? I want to get out of this valley. Yeah, I feel the exact same way. I feel like I people don't... here are just. I don't understand it. I don't. And maybe not people. I just think the valley as a whole. I don't know that the vibes or what. I just think we're not going nowhere. I um, think the valley's very comfortable. Just chilling. Yeah, and I can I can see where people constantly say like, "Oh, the desert can be a trap," because it can be. Mm -hmm. It really can be a trap. Like, I feel like a lot of people. Did you go to Dutch Bros? That's the first question. Nope. No, me either. Don't did you really see give how, a fuck about that. Did you see that? how hyped that place was? You, it's not that good, to be honest. I've had it. I in, haven't had it. In Arizona. So I can't speak. I had it in Arizona, and honestly, I would never go to a place that had a line like that. I just, yeah. it's not that cool to me. And that's kind of a, a good presentation, or uh, representation of what the desert's like. Yeah. You're new, so they'll hype the hell out of you. But once you, once you're, once something new comes up, you're just, you're really you're not nothing. not shit, yeah. Yeah, you're just another person. That's the weirdest shit is how we don't really like the people that are around, you know, like that have been here or whatever. Like, you'd, yeah. you'd rather support people that are in LA than like your homegirl or like your homie that's like right here mm-hmm. trying to do things, you know what I'm saying? And maybe that is other places too, but I feel like other spots, it's just not like that. I feel like other spots... I think just because we're, we're born and raised in the desert. So we kind of know how the desert is. Because yeah. maybe it could be different in other cities. Yeah, like Maybe exactly. it is the same environment, but we just don't know that. See, because I got... I was born in... Well, I wasn't born in Blythe, but I was raised in Blythe until like... Oh, okay. Cool. Middle school, like eighth grade, high school. So like I was raised in like a small town. So I oh, felt okay. like everybody was kind of cool. Everybody kind of yeah. like took care of each other and like... Supported one another. Yeah, and I came out here and I was like, fucking getting stabbed in the back left and right. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. like, oh shit, bro. But whatever. It's just kind of how it is. But I can see why people see that as a whole. Because yeah. Because they've come so far. But then, you know, in a heartbeat, you can just fall off the grid like that. And nobody would yeah. really care. And yeah, that's so, true. And, and that's one thing when I first started my business. Actually, before I became an online business, um, I used to constantly get people being like, 
oh, I can't wait for this job. Oh, I can't wait for you to do this. Oh, I can't wait for you to blah, blah, blah. I can't wait for la, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to do something, right? And then when it came down to actually, like... When it happened? Here's access to anybody, everyone, right? (laughs) It was just, like, crickets. And so that was very tough on me. Because it's like, what the? I just put in so much work for this. Everybody was hyping me up about, oh, yeah, yeah, like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And it's like, now the platform's available for people, and it's crickets. Super disheartening. Yeah, I felt that shit. And I can see shit. where a lot of people get um, discouraged. Yeah, and I think that is the, the crazy shit is, like, you got to get over that first beginning. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people just like to hate in the beginning no matter what no matter it's just the weirdest shit like i think people just like to hate in general yeah well they they gotta yeah and until they see like a few like a few people start fucking with it and then they're like yeah. uh okay i can like they're go like, with oh, it you know the hypes oh she's the hype right now and it's like, yeah that's what's kind of crazy and and yeah. and i don't know i don't understand it like people want you to do well but not better than them and that's unfortunate. That's basically the and, truth. That's and about that's it. probably one of the main reasons why I just I just now keep to myself. Well, most people see your art, right? And they're like, I could never do that. And yeah. not, and and maybe like you're saying, there's all kinds of artists. So I'm not saying yours is the best. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is just like, 99 percent of people can't do that. Like your art, mm-hmm. like it's, it's not fucking, easy. it's and not it really easy at all. Easy. And so I could see a lot of haters. For yeah. sure. And, um, you know, and I hope I don't have haters because, like, I'm not, I don't want to disappoint anybody. I'm not trying to, like, think I'm better than anybody because I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm really not. Like, Luna Visuals represents what I can, what I see. Luna is me, right? Mm-hmm. And the visuals is what I can do with that. So, like, if I can slap something onto a painting, I want the painting to be the center of the tension. I'm the background. I'm I'm nobody because really it's the talent is what I want people to notice. I don't want people to notice me. Yeah. I, the I'm art. just a person. The art, yeah. Like yeah. I'm just a person. But yeah. my talent is what creates exactly. what I envision. Yeah. And so, you know, like Again, I'm, I'm not better than anybody. I'm not here to say that I am better than anybody. I'm just... I just want to be a better version of me. Because I'm the only person who really can bring myself down. I really hope that's... I think that's what most people need to start adjusting their focus to, you know? It's like just being better per yeah. version of them. Because we all like we all have a different starting line. We all start in a different we're spot. We're all different. And yeah, we're all different. We all have our different skills. Like you're not going to... I'm not going to be Joe Rogan. Like I don't fucking expect to have yeah. a $100 million contract. I'm going to be me and see where it goes, you know? And yeah. like that's all you can do. And the, it, you just have to try things. Yeah. And if you just don't go try for anything, it. you're kind of just wasting time. And that's kind yeah, of where, yeah. that's where I was at. Let's see where we're at. I think we are far in. I feel like we're far in this show. Have we? I feel like we're... Yeah, we're almost an hour in. Damn! Yeah, so I told you, you just That's good. Forget. Yeah, That's exactly. good. At yeah. first, I started off like, oh, I'm so nervous. Huh. Now it's... we're almost an hour in, and I'm like, shut up already. <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut up, yeah. I'm like, dude, am I talking too much? I hope I'm giving you enough. No, you're giving me plenty of, of information. what I'm trying to... Your your answer your answers are exactly what I need on the podcast. Like there's some people that give me like short answers and that's so hard to work with. Like how do I how do I ask yeah. you another question, you know? Like I need to ask You're just gonna get a simple like no and it's like Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> you know that you didn't meme? give me time to think of a you question. You know that meme that was going on and it was like a uh, that dude was just in the he's like okay. Like, I don't know if you ever saw that meme. Maybe, I don't know. He was, like, in the... It was a, a black guy, and he was actually... I, I don't know where he was at, but it looked like a very beautiful location. Uh-huh. But there was, like, a meme going where it was, like... It was, like, the location, and then it showed him, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all, damn, sometimes I feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes yeah. when people give me short answers, I'm just like, okay. Like... What do you want me to say? Uh, well, I'm going to go over here now, so... Well, yeah. Bye. Conversation Bye. over. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's the toughest shit, because I've had a couple... I've had a couple... Well, 
I'll cut them off, you know, like not not like fucked up, but like if if they're not really into it, like I'll just I've had short podcasts where they're like twenty minutes and it, like it is what it is. Some yeah. people just aren't very like video. I and wasn't very fine. video friendly for a long time. This is kind of why not I did video it. Friendly. Yeah, that's why I did it. it was because I'm I'm very uncomfortable and I was very uncomfortable like talking to people, but I'm very curious at the same time. So I kind of wanted to just like I guess do what I'm afraid of doing and. And one thing about doing something like that is that we're coming out of our comfort zone. Yeah. So if we're scared to do something, it's because we're doing something different out of our environment. And, like, we're just, like, I'm nervous. I'm... Yeah. When I... You're doing pretty well, though. I think you could you could do something like this. Shit. You should um... you should talk while you're doing your art or some shit. I don't know. I'd bore people. No. Because then I'd be like... So what am I going to talk about now? Like, <laughs> I'd be right there, like, uh, freaking 50 minutes into it, be like, all right, so... That's crazy, right? 60 hours of fucking... Uh, you know, like, <laughs> what do I say next? Because uh, I'm kind of out. But yeah. Yeah, I... Just, it's hard. It's hard being a, a... Okay, here we go. Back to where I was trying to go the first time, and I oh, lost you got track. It back? You got it back, right? Oh shit! So yeah. like, being an artist can be very good, and it can be very bad because having that talent, right, of being an artist and like doing whatever you're good at, is good, right? You you can get to it, and you can create something like just dope. But then there can be times where like, worth we're trying to take a break from being creative but for some reason when you're taking a break that's when i i can't speak for other people but i can definitely speak for myself if i'm trying to chill and have like go to the beach or something right i'll sit there and i'm thinking about oh well this would be a dope painting or oh this would be cool or oh i should try to do this or like oh i should try to do that and sometimes i'm like shut up like shut up why are you thinking right now stop thinking Mm. Like, if I don't think, I don't have thoughts. Does meditation help you with that at all? <sighs> yes. Because I feel like I, that that might not... Own, that's not even just an artist thing. I feel like that's some... Like, even like a... Like, for me, like I, like, I own my own drone photography business. And then I do my podcast. And then I, I'm in the stock market. So, like, I wake up at, like, 6 in the morning. Like So, like... I'm the same way, like, I go and, like, I try to, like, I can't get a day off. I'll go and I'll go do the beach or whatever, and I'm still, yeah. like, fucking, like, yeah, like you said, like, running like, 100 miles per hour in my head, even though I'm, like, oh, act like I'm not, having a good time, you We're know? not in the present. Yeah. We're in the future of what. Yeah. Come, exactly. Come next, and it's, like, dude, just sit there, relax, take a day to just not think. Yeah. But that's actually very hard. Very. And, unfortunately, that's, that's... That's what it is of being, you know, an artist and and that's and that's for any anybody, whether you're yeah. in the music industry, whether you're in again, I guess I guess that's a benefit whether you're in anything. I guess that's a benefit of working of you know, for uh, the man. You don't Maybe. you could just turn it off when you go home, you know? You just see, work and uh, turn it off. See if and... you work for people you're not you're not being as creative. Yeah. Because right now you're focused on Oh, I need to get this done before I clock out. That's or if not, I get in trouble. Or, like, I get ran up. Some I can't believe, like, that. like, I... Because, like, I test people for COVID uh, for, like, my everyday job, my, my full-time job. And, like, my boss is, like, one of my best friends. So, like, I just... I can't believe, like, my jobs in the past on how, like... How asshole, like, bosses were, you know? Like, working security. I worked security, like, for Bighorn and, like... Just how shitty that was. Like, and I couldn't believe I did it. Like, I couldn't believe how long I even, like, kept myself in that shit. And now that I do my own thing and, like, I do my own drone business and then even the COVID testing or, like, whatever. It's just so, it's so crazy thinking about, like, where I was just at a couple years ago. Like, that is so shitty. Can I ask you something? Go. Do you feel more at peace? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like you're, you're happy with where you're at? Yeah, I feel like it's harder. It is. I feel like it's a lot harder, but I feel like it'll it it'll be more fulfilling. Mm -hmm. But I think I need to get my own place, like how you feel. Yeah, I need my and, own and spot that's always so good. Like, Just so that you can be comfortable in where you're at and set up things to your liking, you know, and not having to worry about, 
oh, is this in the way of somebody? You're like, oh, yeah. like, is somebody going to get mad because I'm leaving this overnight, you know? And, like, exactly. as yeah, much yeah. as we don't think about things like that, it's unfortunate that sometimes just the littlest things could really bother somebody. Yeah, and and either and even if we're, like, acting like it's not bothering, or it's not bothering us, or, like, you're not thinking about it, it still might be in the back of your head, even if you're, like, acting like it's not a oh, thought, yeah. you know? So, like, it's You're just, just like, oh, I should go move this. Yeah, exactly. And then it's yeah, like, yeah. but why? And then you get into a deeper thought of, like, no, I should move this because it's in the way, and then you're just like, I don't want to. You know, like, you have, you have yes. little stories with yourself. Yeah. That's we're so constantly, weird. we're constantly creating stories in our head. Like, I don't know about you, but I, I like to plan my day mm-hmm. the night before. So I have my schedule, my calendar and where I like to schedule things. And so, um, yeah, I plan my day for the next day and sometimes it doesn't even go as Yeah, planned. that's exactly what I was going to ask you. How often does it even go the plan that sometimes you... Sometimes I'll get everything checked off. Yeah. Sometimes it's like I can't get to that because I got so stuck into what I was doing in this painting that I'm I lost track of time. And so it's like, okay, well now I have to switch this for another day. And it's like, okay. And then, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, well I'm going to do this the next day and it's like the next day ends up coming and once you know it, it's like a week later and you're just like, uh that's weird how quickly that will happen, too. Yeah, yeah, like, I was supposed to do this Monday, and it is now Tuesday of next week. Like, yeah. it's like, what the hell? I'm a little late. Yeah, like, oh, damn. Sorry. I didn't mean to, like, not put the time into this. It's just things came up. But I think that's where timing Do you think that helps you out, though? Do you think it helps you out scheduling your day, like, the day before? Yeah, because if I wake up and kind of just be like, okay, what am I going to do today? I'll sit there, watch some Netflix while I think, and then while I think yes. turns into like twelve episodes of whatever it is. It's been like four or five hours. Yeah, or some and I'm just shit. like, oh, okay, now we need to get up. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you yeah. really just met Netflix, Netflix? Take your time right now, and I'm like, damn. But you know, I. That's the worst. <laughs> that is the worst feeling. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm just gonna watch one show. Yeah, and just one like, show, and then that one show's like, oh, I need more. Yeah, right when it ends, you're like, oh, okay, I'm watching the next one. You know? You're like, wait, wait, but I want to know what happened. Yeah. And then you get so lost in track of time that you're just like, uh. Like, bro, they're going to end every episode like that. Yeah. They want you to watch the next episode. Like, it's so And worse. that's how Netflix, Hulu, all these freaking big cable companies are starting to, like, suck people in it's crazy how that's like social media too you know like Mm -hmm. everything is built to take your time you know it's not it's not built for you to be productive it's not built for anything like that it's not it's just built for you to be a consumer spend the most money spend the most time on their platform you know facebook wants your time instagram wants your time snapchat wants your time tiktok wants your time if i don't go on a on a so I'll do like two days of just not on social media. No social media. I don't even want to see it. Don't even talk about social media because I ain't even trying to listen to it, right? Uh-huh. I'll get notifications. Hey, so on this day, you missed so blah, And I'm like, bro, I don't even care. Yeah, like what like, the fuck? Stop trying to get me to like go on my phone. And like, nah, I just ignore uh. it. I just clear it off my little feeds right there. And I'm just like, eh. I'll get to it when I get to it, but yeah, I don't. I need more of those. More of those. Just take a couple of days off of it because that shit is just so ridiculous. It Getting can it. be. It can just take your time too. Like even if it's for like, like you said, like you just check it or like you just get up and you're just like, I'm just gonna look at my Instagram. I'm Turns into like an like hour, minutes. you know? Yeah, yeah, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, you're like whole for me, hour goes by and you're like, well, I could have done a whole lot. An hour is like, I missed the gym, you know? Like, I could have worked out, and I would have been done already. I would have been, I just wasted an hour. I've been trying to, like, tell myself now, like, if I can spend an hour on social media, I can spend an hour working on some art, or working on a sticker, or working on a poster, or working on some, like, packaging information, you know? Like, I tell myself all the time, well, you just spent an hour on social media, how are we going to make up that time that you were just... Mm-hmm. You That's just lost. Right? Yeah, exactly. And so it's like, okay, 
now I have to dedicate that hour to creating art, creating content, you know, and it's like, ugh, I don't want to. I just want to keep scrolling. Yeah. But you have to. And social media, it's like, what did you learn? Well, as soon as you get I off it. anything. It's like, you forgot everything you I saw. I just learned that it just takes up my time. And you just, yeah. It's so in crazy. In one refresh, all of what you just saw can go away and oh, something else can be new. Yeah. And that sucks because it's like, yeah. I'm not trying to be on social media all day and I don't. Shout out to those people who are getting paid though for using social media as their, you know. Like the, in, the influencers content. or what? Yeah, like yeah. the influencers. See, I want, like, obviously I have a podcast, so I, I would love to get paid. That's the whole point. Oh, like, of you course. Know? So, like. Because, like, you're putting time into this and you're and, uploading it into this kind of stuff, you know? Like, you could be making, like, I feel like YouTube, because it's such a big platform, that's where everybody tends to, like, I want to go on upload. Twitch as well. Um, have you ever? Have you... I've I've never been on Twitch, um, but my boyfriend does use that a lot because of like the whole music industry and stuff. There, that's like. It's just because it's so much easier to become an affiliate and like make money because you just need like 50, 50 subscribers instead of or fifty followers. I don't know what they call it on there instead of a thousand, which you need on on YouTube. And that's Damn. what's crazy too is like yeah, that's, that's crazy that's too. That's kind of a lot. It's fucking, it is a lot, dude. I barely got a thousand on Instagram. You know, that's fucking. That's a lot of work in itself. But, uh, it's just crazy, like, how people just won't hit that button, you know? Like, they will not hit the subscribe yeah. button. It's like, it's free, you know? Like, you don't have to buy yeah. shit. You could just hit that shit. You don't shit. gotta buy it. Just like likes. You don't gotta buy nothing. All you gotta do is, doo -doo. that's it. That's, that's all if you If you can do. do this, you can do... It's the same. <laughs> like... It's one extra. It's if one you can extra. do a simple, bloop, you can do a simple, bloop, bloop. Or just sharing is not that hard. But yeah. if you can just do a simple bloop, bloop, and paste, that's it. That's all you exactly. gotta do. Exactly. And it's, and shit, like, not even like a share every time. Like, just a share once in a while. Be yeah. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just I'm not little... trying, I'm, I don't expect anybody to share all my content. I yeah. Don't I don't yeah. even share my own content. What makes you think I'm gonna make you do that? Yeah. You know? But, like, you know, it, it's nice to know, like, people are actually sharing your content and getting more viewers because like i kind of see it this way you might not be my next customer but the person on your timeline the person on whatever you're on could be my next customer yeah you know exactly. and like you might not be able to support me by buying something but you're supporting me as a business by just sharing something you're just getting more eyes on it yeah. that's it you're getting more eyes on my business and that's that's what we want yeah, because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be verified. I'm not. I just want to be really good at my business and just be a very good entrepreneur and, like, just inspire people to, like, do whatever the hell it is you want to do in life. Yeah. And don't let people tell you, like, oh, well, this is what you have to do. I don't have to do anything. Yep. If it's not making me happy, I don't have to do it. <sighs> That's but, the problem with, like, the past generation, you know? A lot of yeah. our parents thought you had to get, you had to go to college. You, you had to get, get that a degree. college degree. You had to you're go. you're not going to get anywhere in life. Exactly. Oh, I heard it all. Trust. <laughs> got to work that 40 hours. You got to get, like, a Let me government tell you job something. or something. Oh, you got to you know? get a government job so that you can retire early and, and relax yeah, the rest of the exactly. your lifetime, right? And it's like, Hell no. who even wants to do that? You know, like, no. I don't want to just be old. Like, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to get old within a blink of an eye because I'm over here taking care of somebody else's business and not working on myself. Yep. And exactly. so. And I yeah, can, if I'm working on myself, shit, my business doesn't need to be a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it it's could just be, a hobby. Yeah. It's that just I a hobby money. that's making money and that's making you happy. Yep. I, I hope people, I hope, and I've said it a few t few times on this podcast, and we'll wrap it up pretty soon. Uh, I just hope people fucking did something with the quarantine, you know? Like, learned some sort of skill. Like, there's a lot of people I feel like did, but there's a lot of other people I feel like didn't do shit in the pandemic. Let me tell you, during the pandemic, I did a couple of things. Let's hear them. I started a business during the pandemic. Okay. Where nobody has money, right? Yeah. But I still did it. I invested into it. I invested into a therapist because that's what's going to help me. My future me is going to thank me. 
I now read books. I love reading. It's so therapeutic to me. And I love a lot of the self-motivating books. Okay. So if you do like reading, I, I definitely recommend Jen Sincero. She has a lot of like, you are a badass book. Um, I've seen you post a few things about it, I think. Yeah, I love those books. Yeah. Too. I'm probably going to read them again because I feel like I may have not gotten the full gotten the knowledge full out of knowledge it or whatever. what I was looking for. Gotcha. And then I invested into plants. Because I think I saw you post something about that too. Plants. Yeah, I have a plant page. It's called At Pots by Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> and like, honestly, I love my plants. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. started off with one plant. Now I have like 20 plants. And my grandma mm-hmm. hates it. She's like, another plant? I'm like, yeah. Are they small? Are they big? No, like, hell no. They, well, fucking... they started off small. Now they're big. And okay. like, I love it. Are you trying to do something with that? Or are you just kind of like... It's just like my hobby. It's like another hobby to me. Just see what um, happens with it? Just seeing what happens with it. it. It doesn't hurt to learn something new. You know? And like, I knew nothing about... I don't know anything about plants. But I'm learning every day about them. You know? And how much they're literally like humans. You gotta really take care of them. Yeah. yeah. You have to take care of them. Which is where we come in as we have to take care of ourselves. Right? If we take care of ourselves, we grow. Just like a plant. You take care of a plant, it grows. You feed it, and you're good. You give it that fertilizer, and you give it some little banana. Some banana water? That's a little secret right there. <laughs> the banana but no, water. For real? No, that's I know. That's all nutrients. That's, I could that's tell. good for the plant, right? I could tell the way you said it. You didn't so say like, it as if it was a no, joke. No, that was not a joke. Yeah. That is all 100 and so um yeah you know you have to water it you have to feed it you have to put it in sunlight if you don't get your vitamin d what do you feel like you feel so dark you feel so closed right so when we get vitamin d it's like i need the sun Ah, where have you been you know and and they're just they're identical to humans it's kind of weird how it is like let's say you have a couple rainy days or cloudy days and then when the sun comes out you feel like you like go out and you like stand in the sun it feels so nice you're just like oh I've been, oh, this was so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, crazy. I'm going to lay out right now. I'm going to put some tanning oil. <laughs> some tanning oil, yeah. <laughs> Get that little little bronze in me, you know. I'm, I don't need to do all that extra shit. Yeah, I the don't need The chicas, maybe. I don't, need, I don't need to do all that because yeah. I can just go outside and I burn quick. You burn quick? Quick. Really? Yeah. If I don't put on some sunblock, whoo you're I already see that tan line. I see myself turning red. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should have put some sunblock. But then I'm like, eh. Fuck it. I got to tan that. That's yeah, what matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then you think about stuff like, <laughs> oh, if I don't put on sunblock, I could get skin cancer. You know, so like, oh, there's just shit. so many. I swear, you can't do anything in life without already thinking about a negative. Do you, uh, you think there's aliens? I just wanted to go super sideways real quick before we end this podcast. I don't believe we are the only species in Earth. Yeah, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? I haven't, but um, the day that comes, that will definitely answer my question. Yeah, I don't think we're the only species either. No. No. But uh, I really want to see an alien so fucking bad. Like, I'm one of those people that I want to see one, dude, even if he kills me. I don't know what the fuck, So, I've talked about this. This is like a been a common conversation before, right? Okay, okay. I was like, if I ever meet an alien, I would just pass him the door and be like, you want to smoke this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'd be like, here, I promise you, everything that you're going through right now is going to calm you. This is California weed, right? Yeah. But. I wouldn't even, I, I wouldn't even freak. I'd be so happy if I saw an alien. I'd probably freak out. That'd I'm not going to lie. I'd be freaking ever. out. I'd be like, what? Snap out of it. Yeah. Ah, what did I just smoke, right? But at Damn. the end of it, I truly believe we're not. Yeah, those shrooms will make you nah. think there might be some aliens out ah, there. See? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that. Hey, but where can people find you on social media? What's your social medias? So, all it's platforms awful. are... And your website. Yes. So, Drop your website all too. my platforms are all at It's Luna Visuals. If you go on my website, it is www.itslunavisuals.com. And then if you want to follow me on TikTok, the only difference on that is at itslunavisuals underscore. Because the original 
at it soon as it They got really banned. banned you. Yeah. Savages. I appreciate you coming on the podcast. This is a good podcast. Yeah, yeah, this is a good podcast. And I need to get something. <laughs> oh, wait. Before, are you still doing your, your uh, like where your people find your art? Like your mission? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, I, I so to ask you about Friday, it. Friday, Friday, Friday. So um, the creator of Art and Found reached out to me because she saw that I was um, participating in the whole hashtag art and found hashtag art and found. Uh huh. And so the creator of that actually emailed me personally and asked if I wanted to participate in international art and found day. So this creator actually made that a legit day. And so now, so it started off with 128 artists now it's at 395 artists That's worldwide. A lot of people. So if anybody's interested or if anybody's not from the desert and they're from like other areas, definitely give that page a follow because there's 395 people participating in this. So everybody. Damn, how hyped are you to be part of that? I'm pretty hyped about it. When she emailed me, so my email, to contact me is my email, right? Yeah. When I saw that email, I had to go back on Instagram and check if that was correct. Because I didn't, I was too overwhelmed. I was like, yeah, what? what? This is not real. Hell yeah. no. And then sure enough, I was Damn. like, wow. When is that? When is it? So that's going to be on Friday. So for the desert, I'm going to be... Um, I don't know if anybody else is doing so that Friday in, in like a couple days. Yeah, so like Friday on the twelfth. Like oh, I gotta get this shit dropped tomorrow then. Damn. So um, I'm not gonna tell anybody yet where because I'm still not sure of where I'll be. But I'm gonna be doing the whole. Gotcha. Did picking. you figure out who got the one in Palm Desert? No, nobody. The fuck, nobody dude. still claimed that. I got that shit. I was there like five minutes after you dropped it off, and I was like, what? The fuck? Yeah, I was actually surprised that it was gone within... Somebody must have saw you put it down or something. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. And, and was... honestly, like, again, that's not just for people who follow me. It's for anybody. And exactly. Like, if it would have been homeless... cool if they tagged you. Yeah, for sure. Um, But sometimes we have to think... We have to re- remember that not everybody has social media. Yeah. Like, not a lot of people are yeah, in that like, social yeah, media. Bro, type, why are you, you know? over here making it seem like everybody's on social no, media? No, 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 shit, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I feel you. <laughs> but, like, we have to remember, you know, like, not everybody has that. Yeah. And so, I just want whoever found that, I hope that made them happy and that yeah, made them. Nah, that's sick. That's, like, that's a cool thing to do, man. It, it, it definitely. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It just makes your business even cooler because it just it's it's helping out the community either way. Yeah, and and you know honestly, I don't mind, I don't mind doing it because again, it's expanding my brand. Yeah, it's not hurting me. If I can just get a canvas that's like five bucks, a little small one, right, for like five bucks, why not slap some more and just yeah, give it to somebody who might actually want art and exactly. like can't afford art. So. Yeah. Somebody who's actually doing that and getting involved with the community. I think that's always dope. Yeah. But yeah, so on Friday. Friday. Um, this shit will drop before Friday for sure then. No. No, you don't want it to drop before Friday? Oh, wait, this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, this <laughs> can. Oh, oh wait, yeah. no, no, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, no, I'm not going to drop it the day before. It's Wednesday. I'm I gotta... dropping it on Friday. <laughs> yeah, so this will, this will be dropped Thursday then. Yeah, of course. That can definitely Legit. make sure we all share that too. Man, hour and 20 minutes. That's a good podcast. I feel like we talked.